Hey guys, we are in the grand room here at the Pillsbury Estates Tasting House. Hello, Sam. Hello, Jamie. How are you? I'm with a rosé, you don't say, right? This is your favorite one-night stand drink, isn't it? Well, it is delicious. <laughs> so thank you for creating such a delightful drink. My pleasure. And I love this new space. Not only is it spacious and you can uh, meet new friends here at this grand bar, but you can also kind of make for some privacy and go see some other little rooms where if you have family in town, you want to gather together, you could create space there. Mike, why don't you go ahead and turn around. We're going to meet you over there, there in the Diva Lounge. Why did you call it the Diva Lounge? Well, it's named after one of our favorite reds, and we're going to, um, t uh, there's a bottle in there, and uh, we can talk about what kind of food you might want to have with that. So, yeah. so, so go ahead and talk in here, yeah. because we yeah. need you to help. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. So we're just talking about what we might want to be pairing our wines with when our holiday food meals. So you chose what for us here? Well, this is our diva. This is actually an Arizona version of, of what the French call a Chateau Neuf de Pape. Which means? Which means New Chateau of the Pope. Oh. And it's a wine that the Rhone, uh, the, southern, the southern French people in the Rhone Valley mm -hmm. made for the popes. He used to winter in the south of France. And they built this palace for him, which they called Chateau Neuf. But the popes used to bring Italian wines with them, which oh. kind of um, irritated them, to put it mildly. Oh. There are, in those days, there were 15 Rhone varieties, there's 17 now, and they developed this wine that could be made out of any one of these, or any number of these Rhone varieties, including mm -hmm. whites. I first discovered Chateau Neuf about 20 years ago, and it was an epiphanal moment for me because the wines were so beautiful and f sort of feminine and open and lovely and luscious. And um, we decided to make our first one in 2006, so we've been making it for 13 years. And we called it Diva after a little girl that was visiting my beach house once and spent the whole the whole weekend doing cartwheels on the beach. And I it sounds fun. Promised that I would name a wine after, and this mm -hmm. one is one has won so many awards. This will go really really well with what did, what do you said a steak a turkey a prime rib prime rib. This, prime will go, rib this will go with prime prime rib like you wouldn't believe it's amazing okay. and then we have another room what room is that uh, we call this other room the Rhone room now in 06 when I did my first two reds we did the Rhone and the diva mm -hmm. so we're going back to that history and we call we call this the Rhone room because mm -hmm. the the wine we called Rhone red and what it is it's a classic like this is a classic French Chateau Neuf mm -hmm. this uh, Rhone red is a classic classic Cote de Rhone, which in French means hills of Rhone, but it's actually um, also known as a GSM because it's a blend of Grenache, Syrah, and Morvedre. Ooh. And it's one of the best food wines on earth. Um, I originally made it to go with roast lamb. I grew up in New Zealand, and that was a, a food that I frequently used. But for the holidays, this will go with roast turkey okay. like you wouldn't believe. It's absolutely fantastic. Rhone fantasy. and roast turkey. Yeah, yeah. What about that wild child? Well, uh, uh, Val, could you bring the wild child in here? For, for people that want anything else, this, like all of our wines, this is a vegan. Yeah. Like Valerie, our manager, yeah. she's also a vegan. Uh -huh. And this is a wine that will go with just about anything else that you want. It'll go with uh, any kind of seafood. It'll go with any kind of chicken dish. But what do you, what do you recommend with it, Val, being, being a vegan? I actually like this with dishes that have a little bit of spice to it mm -hmm. as well. If any of you are spicing up your holiday plates mm -hmm. or, you know, you've got some of that deeper cumin or the nutmeg. Oh kind of vibes going on in your dish. Okay. This is wonderful. The wild like child is the way to go. <laughs> I love the tasting house. You guys have done such a great job. So when you come on up to Cottonwood, come see Sam Pillsbury and Valerie. They'll be here at their grand old house, the Pillsbury Estates Tasting House here. And we're putting all the information on azfamily.com. Click on Jamie's Local Love.